Cruise, SS-119, one, SS-127, Expedition 18, and Expedition 19. And uh, from the very be beginning of training, uh, I, I felt that I was uh, perfectly uh, integrated into, into the crew. And uh, this open mind and uh, open dialogue really made this experience uh, for me very positive. Uh, once you become a part of the Expedition 19 crew, you'll be doing the same sorts of, of tasks as you were as a member of the Expedition 18 crew. Right. But uh, when uh, Gennady and uh, Mike Barrett uh, arrive on the Soyuz spacecraft in March, I would be already there uh, for about a month. So I hope uh, the transition from Expedition 18 to 19 could be smooth, uh, and I need to make sure that it's going to happen. And then your ride home is the next space shuttle that visits STS-127. Uh, talk about the goals of that part of your mission and the tasks you'll be working on during STS-127. STS-127, also known as uh, ISS Flight 2JA, is the, uh, the last of the three uh, shuttle missions to assemble the Kibo module. So for Japan, it's a very important uh, mission to complete the assembly of the Kibo module uh, on the ISS. And uh, there are two components that we brought up on the OV-105, this uh, Endeavor, on the flight. Those are the exposed facility of Kibo module and also uh, exposed logistics uh, pallet uh, that will carry three uh, different payloads. And uh, together with the crew, uh, commanded by Mark Polanski, I'll be uh, involved in the uh, robotics operation uh, of the assembly of the, the final components of the Kibo. Uh, you're going to be there over a period where the Japanese sections of the space station are really going to be completed and, and be up and running 100%. Uh, right. So uh, I, I'm very fortunate and I, uh, I feel just lucky to be able to serve a, as a crew member to, uh, to complete the uh, assembly of the International Space Station. When I um, became an astronaut 16 years ago, I always dreamed of uh, working uh, on the assembly of the Kibo module and uh, staying aboard the International Space Station. So for me, this is really a dream come true. Of course, all of the nations that are building and operating the International Space Station have exploration plans that go beyond this particular vehicle. Koichi, what is your philosophy about the future of human exploration of space and the contribution that the International Space Station is going to make to that future? I think uh, for us uh, to expand our frontiers in space, uh, international cooperation is essential. And uh, this ISS project has demonstrated that, that it's possible. But it was not easy. Uh, we had to overcome so many uh, challenges to be able to work together uh, as the partners of the International Space Station. And I think future human sp space exploration will depend on the results of this International Space Station. And uh, I think we have established a firm foundation of international cooperation in uh, human space exploration. And this is the way that we should continue uh, in our uh, searching for a uh, new frontier in space.